My name is Sue Brower. I go to Good Shepherd Catholic Church, and I'm going to give up ice cream for Lent. And that's it. <laughs> My name is Allison Baskin, and I'm a member here at Holy Spirit Church in Hernando. And this Lent, I plan on giving up coffee creamer in my coffee every day, except for Sundays. I'm going to drink black coffee. And I'm going to read a little book about walking with Jesus to my kids every night instead of a chapter book. My name is Mary Jacinta, and I am at Holy Spirit Church. And for Lent, I am going to eat no, I'm not going to eat candy, and I'm going to start praying more often and going to church. And that's the things I'm going to do for Lent. I'm Gina Weir, and I am a member of Queen of Peace in Olive Branch. And this year, one of the things I'm going to do for Lent is I'm going to stay to a strict diet and every time that I feel like I need sugar or something that's really not healthy for me, I'm going to divert my attention by reading the Word of God or the many, 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 many religious articles and things that I um, have been putting off reading. And I'm going to increase my reading. I'm going to uh, read Bishop Barron's Word on Fire Bible. Uh, I'm going to do that every day, and I'm just going to try to do more things that lead me closer to God and give up things like the game on my phone and divert all of that extra time into something more constructive. All right, I'm David Dalecki from Good Shepherd, and I'm going to make an effort to not only do our evening prayers, but to read some scripture every morning and reflect on it and pray for the people in Ukraine every day, hoping that this war is over by the end of Lent. That's it. I'm Val Kelly from Queen of Peace, and I am going to do two things for Lent. I'm going to reach out to the names on our sick list and see if I can communicate with them and, and find out what they need. And also, I'm going to give up my favorite thing, which is a glass of red wine at night. My name is Patrick Hegwood, and I will be doing a form of the Daniel Fast. Good morning. My name is Angela Beach, and I'm coming to Mass in Queen of Peace. And for Lent, I'm going to give uh, Coke. I love to drink Coke every day. I drink like two or three Cokes, and this, this Lent, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to drink coke for, I'm going to try to do for more than 40 days, but for sure it's just going to be 40 days. Thank you. Nancy Go, I'm from Good, Good Shepherd, Shepherd, and I will give up sweets and not eat in between meals. Um, my husband and I are doing a modified Daniel, da Daniel fast, which means that we won't eat, uh, we won't drink liquor. No sweets, no caffeine. What was the other one? No, uh, let's see. No liquor. Oh, no meat. That's the big one. No meat, no sweets, no liquor, and no caffeine for 40 days. And we we built up to this. This is a hard thing to do, but we built up to it. So this is what we do. Amen. I'm, I'm Sister Margaret Sue from Good Shepherd, and my plan is to watch and participate in one of the people's talks that are on our parish YouTube uh, channel each week. <laughs> and uh, after tonight's homily sermon, something special I have to figure out yet about for Ukraine. Yes. Hi, I'm School Sister of St. Francis, Jane Marie Bradish, coming to you from my classroom, 
Pius XI Catholic High School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What am I doing for Lent? I'm participating in an online retreat. Noverum me, noverum te. May I know myself, O God. May I know you. Hi, I'm Carolyn Bailey. And this year, I thought about it. And I think I'm going to give a little more to charity just because sometimes I think some people don't give quite enough. I'm going to try to do a whole lot more, okay? I'm Diana Lyons, Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Olive Branch, Mississippi. And this year for Lent, I really want to spend more time with my father in prayer and to read his word. Thank you for this opportunity. God bless and love all of those who need love and prayers, especially this time of year for those in the Ukraine. And that the hearts of those in Russia that are, are in charge, who do think they're powerful, that their hearts be softened. Amen.